Hi, this is Phil Haynes with the guys from Leisure Outlet. Just going to show you how to put a motorhome awning up. So we've got the driver weight out of the bag. We've just squared it up and put it against the motorhome. Now a lot of people ask how do you actually attach the cowl to the van. A couple of ways you can do it. First way is by utilising the storm straps that come with it. Uh, and the idea here is that you just simply throw the storm straps over the top of the van and then attach them at the, the rear side. Now a lot of people say, well my van's too high, what could I do there? And also we've got a pop-up. Well we've got a pop-up here. What I would suggest you do is use the straps and just go around the pop-up. As to how to get uh, the strap over the top of the van is to get a, an old tennis ball or a new one, put a slash in it, pop the end of the storm strap in there and then you simply pull it over the top, peg it at the other side. The ball makes sure that you can't damage the vehicle. So take the tennis ball off, all you need to then do is peg it down at this side and that secures your cowl to your van. The other way you can attach the uh, drive away to the van is by using a drive away kit. Drive away kit consists of KDAR strip with either a 6 to 6 mil bead or a 6 to 4 mil bead depending whether you've got a Fiamma Omnistore or a kit like we've got here. So I'm using a 6 to 6 bead. Um, you need then a figure of 8. What you then do is you feed the KDAR strip through the channel here and then what you need to do is then feed the figure of eight into here and then the cowl of the driveway is then fed through the figure of eight like so and then you just feed that along, feed this along and that secures the cowl to your van. And then just feed it along and that is your drive away attached to your vehicle using the drive away kit. So we've got the cowl attached, we've actually in this instance we've used the drive away kit and for added security we've used the straps as well. Straps obviously would go back and front of the vehicle just to secure the cowl. Next thing I always do is I always peg the base of the awning slightly under the van. So again what we'll do is we'll just peg this under the van with all outdoor revolution awnings there's lots of adjustment here so what I would do just to create that seal is I would just get the bungee and just tension that just to make sure that that cowl is nice and taut and then secure that tensioning strap so that's the back secured what we can then do is look at squaring away the canvas and then start to inflate so just loosely peg the four corners before you inflate Loosely peg it and don't bother tensioning any of these straps because what we'll do is once it's inflated we'll loosely guy it and then we'll go around again and peg it properly. So we've got the cowl attached, we've got it pegged at the back, we've loosely pegged the four corners. Before inflating a little tip is I would consider opening the zip of the side door. What this will do is this will allow air to get inside of the awning so you don't create a vacuum. To inflate, we've got the dynamic speed valve. Push the button out. If it's out, that means it's sealed and you can inflate. If it's in, that means it's open. You roll towards the open valve when you're packing it away. But we want to inflate, so push the button out. We slightly turn anti-clockwise the pump with this claw and that just makes sure that that claw attaches nice and tight onto that. This is a 
one of the uh, high pressure pumps we use for testing so this isn't the pump that comes with it but the awnings do come with a double action pump which makes it exceptionally quick all you need to do then is start pumping the awning first there's very little pressure and you'll find after a while that pressure will start to build and once it starts to build you know it's time to stop pumping and then you can just start to move on to the other beams and inflate those and start to guide the awning out. So we're just pumping up the final beam. Get the final airframe popping into place now. That's at 4 psi. And then what we need to make sure we do before we start pegging it squarely is make sure that you fasten all the doors up. And then when we peg it squarely, that'll make sure that the awning keeps its shape. And what you can do at this stage is because we've got all of the tubes inflated, starting from the back where the van is working towards the front, just to make sure that all the back is nice and square and secure. And then what we'll do is we'll just continue to peg round to make sure that the awning is nice and taut. So once we've pegged out, you then need to guy out. Guy now, nice and taut. And if you need to tension it, all of these guy ropes are adjustable using this little tension device here. So just pull it taut, it retains itself in the teeth and that just makes sure that the awning is going nowhere. So we've got it pegged, we've got it guyed. To make it extra stable, we also include storm straps. Now the storm straps will move around so you can batten the awning down against the wind. So they just clip into place. All you then need to do, peg them out and that will just make sure that the awning is going nowhere. So we've pegged it out, we've guided it out, it's secured to the van. All we need to do now is just replace this cap on the dynamic speed valve. That secures that. And all we do is we make that nice and neat. Do that all the way along. And that's your awning done. <laughs>